see me. What's up guys? It's been a couple days. Been on 12, 13 hour shifts, 10 hour shifts every day over there across the street at my work. Holidays are just around the corner. I want to have a good holiday season for my family. What's up baby? You doing baby? My dogs are... What's up? What you doing? No. Yep. All right, homemade mount. Lay down. So today's today's video is about the new GoPro that I just bought, the GoPro Hero Six Black. Ah. Great piece of high tech gear. That's what I gotta say. It took me three, four days. It came out on the 28th or 29th. Today is October 4th, and I've just now figured out today how to transcode and proxies and downloaders and uploaders and importers and around porters. I went to the moon and back trying to figure out this 4K 60 frames a second and 1080p 240 frames. I'm not even lying. It took me good chunk of time to figure this out 28 29 30 1 2 3 4 5 6 days to figure out this but I got it we finally got it and today I'm gonna show you how I did it pro 4k 60 frames a second I got it up and running so there's a lot of different programs I had to download and delete download and delete download and delete but I got it so we're just gonna jump right into this the quick GoPro quick you know, go to GoPro.com, go find GoPro quick. It replaced Studio. I guess they're not updating Studio no more, which had the easy transcode to download this back in the day when you had the GoPro 4 and 5 Hero Black or whatever. It was way easier to use the Studio and transcode. Now they want us to use GoPro quick, which does not have that. It only has access and share from anywhere, but it's all it's got. So anyway, this is what I did. Here's all my footage that I dropped from my photo shoot the other day. I did a photo shoot at a cool place. And what I do is you just go here after you connect your GoPro to your to your connect your GoPro to your MacBook or your HP. Go to capture capture image and upload all your footage. Once you got your footage all uploaded right here, see GoPro one, four, three, two, one, all right here. And I then imported it into GoPro Quick. From here, you just right click and you share it. So I'm going to share this. And then I'm going to sh oop, share it to YouTube. And I click Next. And then you name it GoPro, whatever you want. Name it whatever you want. Description, photo shoot. Public, add tags, none of that. It doesn't matter because you can delete this afterwards. And then you're going to post it. All right? So while that is uploaded into YouTube, come over here. And this is all the proxies and all that they wanted you to try. I tried everything. I don't have the GoPro proxy, but I've been just trying everything to get this to lower quality and all this here and there. And I've been trying working from down here up in this watch folder. I'll click right here and then open up a folder and then dump it in like output output source and then I was just trying all this and I couldn't get nothing to work so I'm just gonna cancel that I already did that I just couldn't get media encoder to do what I wanted so I didn't even need it so what I did is like I said already you just go to GoPro studio and you share it you upload it to YouTube and then from YouTube once you do that, go to your channel. I'd make a back, backup separate channel, of course. Here's something I uploaded earlier, but I already got it to work. Yeah, like just like and you don't gotta watch it. Just it takes a couple minutes to upload, and then you right click right here and you copy it. So once you copy your channel video, it's all gonna be right here. And then I went out, and then after I went out. I go to YTD, YouTube Downloader. If you don't got it, go get it. Just go to YTD.com or type in YouTube Downloader or whatever you want on Google and download the YTD. Make sure it has this image right here, a little arrow down inside the TV and basic YTD. It's all free and it works. I promise you guys it works. I'm not steering you clear. I've been using it for months and months and months and 
lots of different projects. You can download any video from YouTube using this. So I did that. And then, see right here, it clicks that. And then I click download. And then it's going to start processing. I'm going to stop it because I already downloaded it. And then it processes and then it works. And then once you do that and it does that, you got the you got the video or the file now on your laptop into whatever folder you wanted to do it. This is it says output and sources because I was trying it in media coder all these different ways. Here it is, DPP photo shoot, and then there's the photo right there. And then once you do that, you got it on your laptop. It should be in your downloads once you download it from YouTube. First off, open up Premiere. And once you open up Premiere, you just click it. Drag it and drop it right in there. Once you drag and drop it in there, it's going to say change the sequences. It might be down to 30 frames a second, but your image you shot at 60 frames a second, so the frames are still there. It's just compressed, so it's easy for you to work. Once it's in there, look. It works. It works great. Yeah, now. this light's fine right here. It'd be like, pretty cool. You know? So I know you got that, it's still got that GoPro look and feel to it, but now it's in your Premiere Pro. You can edit it, you can start using it, and do whatever right. you want. So now that it's there, ready to rock and roll. Then after that, you just save your footage. You know, you can even export it again just to check. And there I did it. Got the footage from this GoPro to the Adobe Premiere, and that's our goal right there, right? Well, we made it happen, and that's what we did. It took me five days to do it. I did it on my own. There was no Google search, no nothing that could help me find what I was looking for. But this was the workflow that I did, and it was best for me, and it just worked. So you guys are more than welcome to use it. Go for it. I'm sharing my knowledge to the world, so no one else has to go through five days of struggling to figure this out. Now all you got to do is watch this video. Make sure you subscribe, because it won't work if you don't subscribe. Alright, you guys subscribe? Alright, now it's going to work no matter what. Your bell's going to be ringing because I'm dropping videos every day. So today our goal was to export our GoPro footage to our laptop, get it from our laptop to Adobe Premiere. We did that using uploading to YouTube from GoPro Studio. Uploaded to YouTube, took it from YouTube to YouTube Downloader, from YouTube Downloader we put it into Adobe Premiere, and now we're editing our GoPro footage. Done. Detroit Post Production out.